All right, Shalom. We have brothers of Great Millstone on the branch out in this morning. First and foremost, we give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all your brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity, always in charity. We rightly divide the word of truth directly and correctly in all boldness and in all sincerity and truth, you know? Without further ado, we're just going to hop right into it. Um, this is, yeah, what is it? Surah 30. 30. It's kind of, this is Surah chapter 30 in verse, I'll start at verse 1. It says, he that loveth his son causeth him off to feel the rock. Now, this is what's taking place with us, man. Hey, can a brother get a, a, a second Maccabees 6 and 12? Baba Pusha. You know? Because that's what's taking place with us, man. Hey, hey, how about Sham Yahusha showing that he loves us, man? By doing what? By allowing us to pass under that rod. The rod is the scriptures. And the brother get also a uh, uh, second Timothy. Is it a uh, three and sixteen? If I'm not mistaken, you you can read that Maccabees. Con, this is Second Maccabees chapter six and verse twelve. And now beseech to those that read this book that they be not discouraged for those calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction. But for a chastening of our nation. Exactly. So the things we suffered as a nation, man, is the Lord whooping us, man. For what? For being unruly children. You know, as it is written in the book of Proverbs, it says, spare the rod, spoil the child. So what did the Lord do, man? He didn't want us all, all, all wild and bugged out out here. So what, man? He allowed us to, uh, uh, to receive this correction, man. Right? Go ahead. Verse 13. For it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered any long time. But for with punish, that's a sign that we're talking means signs, a sign of the Lord's goodness that we're punished right away when we fuck up, man. Go ahead. Verse 14, for not as with other nations, not as with the heathens, right? Whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish mm -hmm. till they become to the fullness of their sins. So dealeth he with us. Mm -hmm. Less, less that being, being come to the height of sin. Afterwards, he should take vengeance of us. So you don't you don't want your sins to pile up and then the Lord come with his vengeance, man. You know, that's what's going to happen with two thirds of our people. That's why they're going to die the death of the uncircumcised. The Lord said in Isaiah, the first chapter, why should you be stricken anymore? You're going to rebel more and more, man. So this message is only for who? The elect of Israel. Those that can receive this understanding. In Hebrews, uh, uh, the 12th chapter, it says what? If you be without chastisement, then are ye bastards and not sons, man. Two thirds of our people, they're 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 not they're, they're not a part of that. The people who don't want to hear this wisdom, and, um, what we went through on the line was that wisdom of Solomon three and, three. and eleven. Um, it says that, that uh, they, the, they that hated nurture, they that hated nurture. That, that's what I said, right? Wisdom of Solomon three. Yeah, right. yeah I remember. Right. Yeah. Um, Solomon three and three too, though. But uh, that was on something. No, that was something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon three. Right, 11. 11. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 11. It says, For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable. Wisdom and nurture. This, this, this is what uh, uh, wisdom and nurture, how we're being nurtured. It's just like a child. You know, you train up a child in the way that he should go, he should not depart from it. You're showing him what's right and what's wrong. And if he fuck up, guess what? You bring the rod, you whoop him to show him that that was wrong. That's what's taking place with us, man. We're being raised up in this wisdom, in this nurture, in this correction. Matter of fact, can we hit that Timothy real fast? Uh, it's Timothy 3 and 15. Uh, yeah, I believe so. It says all scripture is given by inspiration. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 16. It says all scriptures is given by inspirations of the most high and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So these words is meant for what? For correction, for instruction. This is the rod. This is what the Lord is passing us up under, man. You know? It says the word of the Most High is quick and powerful than any two-edged sword. This is the rod that we're, that we're passing under. Go ahead. It says that the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Exactly, man. And, that's, and, this, and this is what's grieving our enemies. This is why Esau Edom is rising up. Uh, 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 with, with great fear, you know? This is why these heathens are all bugged out at this word. This is why two-thirds of our people are fearful. Because we're going to go back to Sirach 30, and it is going to explain it, man. See, because they thought that we was going to be in this dumb, dumb-down, uh, 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 nigga mentality, 
for, 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 for however yeah. long, man. But now that we're standing upon our feet, now that we're knowing what's right and wrong, as it says in Ezekiel, I believe it's the 44th chapter, you know, mm-hmm. as it says in Malachi, uh, 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 is it the third chapter, if I'm not mistaken, man? In the 44th chapter, it says, the priest shall teach the people to discern between what? The clean and the unclean. And Malachi, it says, they shall come back and discern between who serves the Lord and who don't, man. So now we're discerning between what, man? Hey, he saw Edom. Now this dude is the fucking devil. You go into church or, or, or you're following after a, a church or a camp that got a 501c3. Well, guess who they 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 they, they, they who they follow? That's Esau Edom. Because Esau Edom is allowing them or showing them what to teach. You're still following after that man's doctrine. This guy don't know the Lord. So coming back into this, man, we should we should discern between what's right and what's wrong. The things that we're saying and how, how we're teaching the scripture, starting with the apostles and elders, man. Hey, that's the clean way. Those are the ones who are serving the Lord in truth and in sincerity. What do y'all shall say, John? You want to say something? Uh, you had mentioned the five hundred one three C. Just to, hey, just it's, it might be off uh, the subject, but hey, all the camps don't have that five hundred one three C because you got some people talking about all the camps got the five hundred one three C. Great Millstone ain't got that, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's just these these damn Still wicked ass. ass wicked ass Israelites talking about. Lumping everybody together, man. You know what I'm saying? Because of one other camp, because of a wicked camp, they trying to clump everybody else into that camp. Well, well that was you know Esau's plan in the beginning. Exactly. exactly. You know? And they following after. That, 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 you know? See, the, that's why the scripture says we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. And everybody that falls into it, you are meant to fall into it, man. You know? That's why Esau Edom put that out there in the forefront. That's why he had dude uh, on Fox News with a uh, 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 Jesse Waters. Yeah, who the hell is that? What, what what's the beef with those thin ass eight lips, man? You know. But the, the the point is, they had this dude on there uh, uh, doing what, lumping it all together. Here is the guy. Here is the group that was at the forefront of the Covington. He didn't deny and say, "Well, no, I, I you know I wasn't really that wasn't me. I'm not associated with them." No, you was there to represent who? The black Hebrew Israelites, man. So that's all a ploy in a, in a, in a, a device of Esau. Even though he said, well, well to secondly, they're not a part of my group, but we, but you was representing the so-called black Hebrew Israelites, man. So this is all a part of Esau's ploy. It's all a part of his, his grouping together, man. And you dumbass niggas falling right in line with it. Yeah, see, the camps are wicked. And all, you know, all this madness, man. That's why all oh, this is simultaneously. What happened? The, the coming thing happened. And all of a sudden, there's this just Joy Morgan thing popping off, man. You know? This is all systematic. I have a gun there. Kind of just uh, real quick, just to go uh, back to the rod, a precept to show, you know, what that rod is. This is Micah chapter 6 and verse 9. The Lord Yahweh's voice cried unto the city. And the scripture says in Luke 1 and 7, uh, 70 that the Lord spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets uh, since the beginning. So the Lord's voice crying into the city is the prophets that are out on the highways and byways. Man. It says the Lord's voice cried unto the city and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod and who hath appointed it. So the men of the Lord are saying what on the highways and byways. Listen to the scriptures. All right. Listen to what the Lord really has to say and what he's about to uh, do upon this place. Man. But I'll let you know that that rod is speaking of the holy scriptures. man. So I hop back in this Sirach, and this Sirach chapter uh, 30 in verse 7, or in verse 1, it says, He that loveth his son causeth him off to fill the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. And that's what it is, that the man of the Most High may be thoroughly furnished unto all good works, man. Right. right. You know, that's the rod, like the brother said. This is Proverbs 13 and 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be times you know but early and often yeah you know because it says because it speaks about what train up a child in the way that he should go so you mean you you chasten him early right so when he gets older he knows the different right from home. exactly man and that's what and not to quote tupac but hey he had a song why do we die at an early age you know what i'm saying hey because hey the lord chasten us hey when you doing stuff he gonna chasten you man Quick, right. fast, in a hurry, fast, then because he loves you. 
So he gonna chasten you faster than, than he chastening these eaters and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So our people look at these eaters like, damn, why the hell are they getting away with this, getting away with eating pork and live this long and all this wickedness, they get away with it. Hey, but we we got an early age because the Lord love us. We his chosen people, man. You know? That's okay. It's Revelation 3 and 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. That's it. Be zealous, therefore, and, and repent. repent. That's it. And that's the main thing. That's what he, he wants us to repent, man. Repent or likewise perish. Die. You know what I'm saying? He gave us these law, statutes, and commandments to live by, man. And that's what we got to live by, man. If you don't, hey, you being disobedient, you're going to get your ass whooped. Yep. Yep. Got another one for you. It's Proverbs 22 and 15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction, what's given for correction, for reproof, but uh, for instruction, instruction, correction, instruction, is the scriptures. It says, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. You know? And that's what's taking place. The Lord is dealing with us as with sons, man. And this is what's grieving uh, these heathens, man. According to Revelation, the 11th chapter. It says we stood upon our feet and great fear fell upon them. Because now, because now, guess what? Because now we've been, we, 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 we're, we are being taught who the enemy is. We were talking off camera. You know, we were speaking about if you don't know who your enemy is, you don't know who's attacking you. You ain't got no defense. Our people ain't got no defense out there, man. But guess what? The prophets are out there on the highways and hedges. Key word, out there on the highways and hedges, man. When you whole ass niggas is in your house. Right, the camps. When I'm talking about the camps. They're, they're, they're distorting our message. What message, nigga? <laughs> you ain't even preaching nothing, dog. How, 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 how is your message, nigga? You wouldn't even know who you are if it wasn't for the camps out there on the highways and hedges, but all of a sudden they distorting our message. Like, what you taking credit for the work of being out there? Like, and you ain't taught nothing. Nigga, you ain't put yourself out there, nigga. You got it. I was going to say, you haven't hazarded your lives. Like it talks about the men of the Lord. Yeah. Look at Acts. They hazarded yeah. their lives yep. to preach the word. And you haven't done that, man. And the Lord is coming for those that are willing to suffer with them. You ain't even willing to go out on the highways and byways just because you're afraid of how people will perceive you. You're worried about all these other things out of the lack of faith, man. Not believing that the Lord will take care of you and provide for you, man. Forget what these people have to say. But that's it. You know, no, I was going to say the scripture says that I shall see thy I teachers. Teach You're going to see your leaders, man. Yeah. Second Ezra is the first chapter where the Lord said, I will give you for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Obadiah, you know, Maya. so forth and so on, man. You're going to see those men standing out there. Where are these men at? You see? I got another one. This is uh, Proverbs 23 and 13. Withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with the rod and shall deliver his soul from hell, man. And that's what's taking place with these words. But our people want to hear what? Smooth things. Yeah, well, yeah, because uh, when you start to use the rod, which is what the scriptures and actually apply it, they'll say, y'all are hating. No, we're showing you love. We're using the rod to what? To spare you from further destruction, to spare you from your death. Because if we're not telling you, then you're going to lead to death, man. Like, if you don't, if you let your little 12-year-old son, he's smoking cigarettes. If you don't tell this nigga, bro, that's going to kill you. And every time you see his ass trying to light up a cigarette, you beat the fuck out of him, man. You beat his ass. Like, nigga, that's going to kill you. Then it gets into his mind, like, oh, I ain't supposed to be doing this. But if you didn't do that, this nigga would smoke cigarettes, then he'll get cancer, then his ass is dead. It's yeah. the same with this truth, man. We're, 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 we're telling you that this is wrong according to the Bible. If you continue to do this, eventually this will lead to your death. Eventually, this will lead to your downfall. So what we're telling you is not hate, but it's love. It's trying to save you from your destruction, man. Okay. No? No one more? Right. This is Proverbs 29 and 15. The rod and wisdom give uh, Salakia. The rod and reproof give wisdom. But a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame, which goes back to that Sirach. It says a child left to himself will become willful. willful. Yep. That's why I say it's a horse not broken, which we're going to get back into, man. Yep, yep. I got, I got, yep. You know, that's what's really grieving these heathens, man, because we're standing up with what? With virtue, with morals. There's a standard to us now, mm -hmm, man. Mm -hmm. Now we're holding ourselves to something. The whole nation. Nigga, we ain't just niggas and spicks and tontos, man. Lawless, lawless people just doing what the fuck. No, man. We're gods and princes, man. You understand? How do they carry themselves? How do they walk? 
The name Yasharala is placed back upon us, man. He is prince of the power. You've been a prince of the power means what? You are a son of God. You've been a son of God means what? The name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai has been placed back upon you. So how should you conduct yourself? How should you walk knowing that you bear those names? I represent the power of the heavens, man. How should your mindset be? How should your conduct be? How should people perceive you, man? And I mean, when they actually meet, not these whole ass niggas that ain't never fucking met us. I'm talking about people who actually deal with us in our day to day lives. They ain't got nothing bad or evil to say about us, man. No, those guys, no. Who, who, who? Ray? <laughs> that guy? He's a fucking awesome guy. You know, you got, he's an awesome fella. Yeah, you know, Mike, he's on time every day to work. <laughs> he speaks when I speak to who? You know? They have nothing evil to say against us, man. The only thing that can be said is what? The, 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 the gospel we preach, man. That's why it says, let no man suffer as a murderer. Uh-uh. 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 Yeah. Some guys I suffer as murderers, man. Uh-oh. You know? It uh-huh. says, uh, uh-huh. suffer not a murderer or as a busybody or as an evildoer. Yeah. It says, suffer for righteousness yeah, sake, yeah. man. The only thing they got on us is what? This word. That's the only thing they had on our Messiah. That's the only thing they had on Yahweh Shai. Even in, uh, in Thessalonians, it tell you to abstain from evil, man. And, uh, yeah, appearance and, and, of evil. Uh, the appearance of evil, you know. So, hey, we, hey, through through your house by Shimmy all shy, we, hey, we those men that we gonna be looked upon as being blameless in His eyes, you know, because He died for our sins. So it's gonna be us that's gonna be uh, our sins and all that gonna be blotted away, you know, right? But right, hey, man, hey, hey, hey. through the spirit, man, you just want to keep it simple, man. Yes, sir. You just keep it simple, you know. Uh, uh go, go, do, go to, go to camp. Do your lessons, you know, get your reading in, you know what I'm saying? And and, and that's it. You know, you, you gotta do too way. much. Stay out the way, stay it's not under the radar, you know what I'm saying? But doing what we're doing, of course, we're gonna pop up on the scene, they're gonna demonize this man, but you wanna be persecuted for the Lord's name's sake, you wanna be persecuted for righteousness name's sake, or for, or for for righteousness sake, man. Not for, being wicked. for not for being wicked, not for anything of the flesh, man. You know, you want to make sure that everything that you're doing is under the uh, uh, the, the scripture. So when that persecu- persecution does come, it's becoming this. It, it's coming because of the scriptures, which means you know, well, I'm I'm going through this because of the scriptures, which means I know there's a way out. I know there's salvation because I'm not going through this because of something I did by myself or something I did I, I wickedness. I'm I'm going through this because of the scripture said I was going to go through this. You know, therefore there's salvation that comes with it, man. All mm-hmm. right. And that's why we should desire what, man? You know, these words. John, the fourth chapter, Yahweh Shah said, now it's time for the, the, the true worshipers to worship the Father in spirit, spirit and in truth. truth. What is that? John 6, 63. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and, and they, they are life. life. What did Yahweh Shah say in uh, 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 John 17? He said, uh, uh, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy, thy word, word is, is truth. truth. So what is spirit and what is truth? It's the rod. It's these scriptures. The they give us the wisdom. They make us whole. You see, mm-hmm. that the man of the most high, that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished unto all good works so that we could perform what that, that the thing that pleases the Lord. It says what? It says the rod and reproofs give wisdom. Now, when you read Wisdom of Solomon in the ninth chapter, King Solomon prayed and said, sit in wisdom that sitteth by thy throne, that laboring with me, she may teach me the things that are pleasing unto thee. He was praying for what? Reproof. Our people don't want that. They don't want to get corrected. Matter of fact, can we get a, a what's that, Sirach? Uh, 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 I believe it's 23 and 1. If it's not 23, then it's 24 and 1. Because Esau takes pleasure in, 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 in little Wayne ass niggas, man. Terry Crews and, 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 and these fucking big homo ass niggas, man. LeBron James. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he takes pleasure in these niggas who promote that nigga, that promote that nigga tree. Because that's what he wants. Can we read that, Sirach? This is uh, Sirach chapter 23 and verse 1. It says, O Lord, Father and Governor of all, my whole life, leave me not to their counsel. What counsel was it talking about? When you read up, he was talking about what? The counsel of his tongue, the counsel of his own mouth, which it starts in your mind. Through the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, right? Let's keep reading. And let me not fall by them. Mm -hmm. Who will set scourges over my thoughts? See, this is what we're praying. See, when we ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, we're asking for what? Correction. That we may know the right way to walk. Because why? As us as little children coming into this thing, unless thou humble thyself with this little child, ye shall not uh, enter into the kingdom of heaven. 
The scripture says what? That we just read. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. So we got to learn how to get that. Uh, we got to be taught the right things to do, just like a child, just like an actual child. It has to be told right from wrong. It's the same things that we're doing, right? Go ahead. It says, who will set scourges over my thoughts and the discipline of wisdom over my heart? Over my heart. So when wicked thoughts come in my mind or, or things that uh, 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 that's contrary to what the scripture says, you know, you smell something. Damn, what's that? That shit smell good. What's that? Oh, that's pork. Oh, man, I'm hungry, though. You know, no, that wisdom going to come over your mind. That scourge. Pow. Doubt, yeah, what? Don't eat nothing unclean. What? Oh, the pig? Even though it's, it's cloven footed, it chew up not the cut. That's wisdom. Deuteronomy 4 and 5. The statutes that I have taught to you, they are your wisdom yep. in the sight of the nations. Yep. This is what separates us from these heathens. Yep. Let's keep reading. It says uh, that they spare me not for mine ignorance. That they do what? Spare me not for mine So ignorance. he was asking not to be spared. Every wicked thought that come in my mind, let it be checked. Every wicked thought that, or, or thing that I perform, let, hey, hey, let me be able to, uh, uh, can a brother get Psalms? Um, That's what I was going to say. Yeah, it's 139, the last couple verses. Damn, I'm right here. This is uh, Psalms 139 and 23. Search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Do you know what he's asking right there, man? He's asking the Lord to try his reins, man. How the Lord is going to try you? He's going to put you in situations to test your faith. Let's keep going. It says, search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Just like these situations that pop up. The, uh, the Israelites being mainstream now, put on the media, guess what? That's trying brother's faith, man. You see how many niggas backtracking now? Yeah. Oh, see, yeah, I, I knew them cats was wicked. See, the message they pushing is hate. Uh, uh. Nigga, what? This is the heritage of the saints, man. What it says in Revelation 13? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the faith and the patience of the saints. Nigga, that's our faith. That's what we have hope in. What is faith? Hebrews 11 and 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We don't see these heathens in chains yet. But according to Psalms 149, nigga, that's what we hoping for, man. You niggas is crazy. Let's keep reading. It says, search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And know my thoughts. Let's keep going. Verse 24. And see if there be any wicked way in me. He's asking the Lord, man. He's asking the Lord. Because why? Because he want to be found perfect in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. That should be each and every last one of our hope, man. Go ahead. It says, and see if there be any wicked way in me. Fuck what a heathen think of you. Fuck with your uh, actual brother, your mother, your sister. Hey, fuck what they think of you, man. How do I look in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah? That's what I care about. I don't give a damn how this world perceives me, man. I don't give a damn how two thirds of our people re uh, uh, perceive us, man. I don't give a damn how these people perceive the camps. You understand? I'm gonna stand for righteousness' sake as long as the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is upon me to do it. I'm gonna teach my brothers and sisters what the right way to walk, man. You understand? Because that's what's grieving the enemy. That's what got these heathens scared. Because we're standing back up in our power. You understand? According to Judah the fifth chapter. These heathens know to keep us away from the Lord, that keeps us sinning. Can we hold Isaiah, what's that, 59 and 1? And also uh, 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 Jeremiah 5 and 25, if I'm not mistaken. You finish that up. Kind of says, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. And lead me in the way of everlasting. That's what we ask in the Lord. So for the Lord to lead us in the way of everlasting, where is that written? Within these pages, man. We got to be taught the things that are, that, 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 that are holy unto him. You know? Hey, because going back to that, uh, Sirach, uh, the 23rd chapter, he's pretty much asking that um, he doesn't lean upon his own understanding. Now. Oh, oh, yeah. The water for bringing that back. Let's go back to that. Bible uh, uh, To the Sirach. Bible uh, Kushak. Back in uh, Sirach chapter 23 and verse uh, uh, 2. Who will set scourges over my thoughts uh -huh. and the discipline of wisdom over my heart? The same prayer King David prayed. Lord, try me. Know my reigns. What did King Solomon pray for? Wisdom. He was praying for what? Correction. Yeah, yeah, it's, the, it's, it's the same thing that uh, 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 Sirach, this Sirach is saying. Go ahead. It says uh, that they spare me not for mine ignorances and it pass not by my sin. Exactly. I'm doing something wrong. Let it, let it come to me. You know what I'm saying? So I can correct it. So I can live the, uh, to the best of my ability in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Go ahead. Verse 3. Lest 
mine ignorances increase. Unless your ignorance is increased, you not knowing. Our people don't know. But now they're being told. That's right. So now they have no cloak for their sins because of the caps. Because of the men who are out there, according to Isaiah 58, 1, who's crying aloud, who's not sparing. You understand? It said what? Let it spare me not. That's right. That's what the prophets are doing through the spirit, man. That's right. Let's go. It says, lest my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction. Stand up. Lest my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction. Let's read that next verse. This next verse is, is heavy. Mm -hmm. And I fall before mine adversaries uh -huh. and my enemy rejoice over me. Uh, why? How are our enemies rejoicing over us? Because what? Our sins are abounding. Hold that. Let's get that Isaiah 58, uh, 59 and uh, that Jeremiah 5. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 1. It says, Behold, the Lord Yahweh's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Yeah, exactly, man. And these heathens know this, man. These heathens know this. How, how, how do we know that these heathens know this? Really? Yep. That's right. That's right. They go through the records, man. Esau, Edom, they have the records, man. Esau, Edom, these, these elites, they know who we are, man. They have the record. They have the lineage of who the Israelites are, man. They don't think that the blacks is just, the so-called blacks is just niggas or colored people, man. They know that the so-called blacks is Israelites, man. They know that the so-called Hispanics is Israelites, man. They, so, they know that the so-called Native Americans is Israelites. These elite, the top people of this world, they know that, man. It's you pee on crack. It's you pee on niggas that don't know that, man. But the elites of, of everything, the elites of the so-called white man, the, uh, the elites on the left hand and the elites on the right hand, they know, the area, we know what's going on, man. We know that the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. It's you peons that don't know that, man. And they're scared that they see us rising upon our feet. They're scared that they see us, what, serving our Lord and, and trying to obey his laws to the best of our ability, man. In the book of Joshua, uh, Judges, it says that uh, they shall re rehearse the righteous acts, man. And that's what we're doing, man. You know? Yeah, because they know that's their downfall. Yeah. Now, the brother made a statement and said that they have our records. How do we know that? We read the book of Ezra. When uh, Sambalot and those whole-ass niggas wrote unto the uh, king of Persia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said, oh, oh, they be, uh, I don't think it was a horror story at that time. Okay, okay. Uh, but um, they they wrote unto him and was like, hey, these, these, these niggas are rebellious, uh, the rebellious people. If this city be built, they gonna rebel against you. Right. They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna do this. So what did the king do? He made inquisition. Meaning what? He went and searched the records mm -hmm. to see. And guess what? The Persian Empire had the records of our kingdom. Yep. It's written in Ezra. He said what? That there were many mighty kings that ruled out of that region. Yep. That they that they uh, that they were giving tribute paid to them. That's our history. That's you see what I'm saying? History, man. So so they got our records. And guess what? what? Guess what the Greeks did when they came into power? That was right after the Persians. The Greeks came into power and did what? In Alexandria, uh, Egypt. They built what? The Library of Alexandria, which had what? All the places that they conquered, they, they history and they, they records was translated into the Greek language, man. Which Esau has all this today. So they have our record, man. They know the things that we saying are true. Why? Because he do a diligent search. Yeah, Everything yeah. the Bible said, this nigga go back there and dig it up and search it up. Oh, shit. That's right. You know? Oh, that's right. He knows the Bible is accurate, man. He knows the things that we're saying is true. So he knows when we're standing upon our feet, living to the best of our ability in the eyes of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, that he can't stand before us, man. As it is written in the book of Leviticus, five of you shall chase a thousand, man. Yep. This is the power that we have when we're standing back in our right mind. That's why Wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter says what? They are grievous even to behold. They ain't talking about Lil Wayne. They pay <laughs> money to go yeah, see that nigga, man. man. They, they, they saw him the front that row. He saw in the front row and shit. Talking about Weezy. Yeah, yeah, they ain't talking about LeBron. Right. They happy to see that nigga dunk and, 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 and hoop around. Yep. Coon around for their ass, man. They ain't talking about Spike Lee, who was happy as hell when he won that Oscar ball. That nigga up there cheesing and shit. Goof ass boy. No, they talking about the men out there on the highways and hedges. They talking about the men who can't be bought. They talking about the men who have their integrity. See, they hate a man with integrity. Uh -huh. Just like that second Maccabee 6. 
they they they, they looked at Haley Azar. They said for the old acquaintance, that was they they knew them from old time, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they said when he when he wouldn't uh, come forward, they, they 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 said they hatred was stirred for that, man. These heathens don't give a damn, man, and we're going to continue to punch their ass in the mouth, man. We're going to continue to do the things that we have to do through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, which, which is that. What? what what's that? Yeah. Prophesy against Mount Seir. Set your face against that nigga, man. Mm-hmm. What did the Lord tell Ezekiel? Hey, man, drop your word towards the south. Man, we're going to drop our word. Nigga, you know that's a jake. <laughs> you know? Let me put something on you. Nigga, we dropping our word. Nigga, that's what's happening, man. We prophesying against these heathens, man. We're prophesying against this wicked ass place, man. This prison evil world, as the scripture says, you know, because that's what's bringing this place down, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, is the vibration that we're pushing throughout this earth. Because we're waking our people up, because we're giving them a standard. You see, we're not sparing them according to what, like it says in Sirach, like it says in Isaiah fifty-eight, like it says in Proverbs, spare not the uh, 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 the rod, man. You know. But I was holding this Judith real fast, right? This is uh, Judith 5. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to the point, though. Uh, I'm going to start at 18. This is Judith 5. I started at 17 just because it, it backed up what you read in uh, uh, Isaiah 59. This is uh, Judith 5 and 17. It says, and whilst they sin not before their power, they prospered. Because the God that hated the iniquity was with them, right? That's that Isaiah 59. It says that our iniquities have withholding good things from us. Uh, so you hold that Jeremiah 5? Is it 25 or 24? About rebellious. Uh, it says that um, it's Jeremiah 5. I don't know. 23. 5 and 25. 25. God, this is Jeremiah 5 and 25. It says. Your iniquity have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. These heathens know that. How do we know? Let's keep reading in this Judah. Back in Judah 5 and 17, and whilst they sinned not before their power, they prospered, because the power that hated the iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore. Just, hey, that's, hey, that's just so you right there. That's what Esau continuously try to do this keep us away from our power man just continue us from our power because without our power man we left vulnerable hey we we out we don't have no protection man but when we connected to our power man can't nothing stop us man and they know that man man yep. that's why we got to return back to our power yahweh by shim yahweh shah man that's our power and that's why we got to wait upon him because he coming back to destroy this place man all right, and give us a kingdom, man. He about to give us that uh, everlasting kingdom, man. You know, let's like, you know, go ahead. The kingdom shall not be left to other people. You know what I'm talking about? That's right. Deuteronomy, what's that? Thirty second chapter, man. Israel shall dwell safely alone. Oh, yes. What they say in Isaiah, man, that a circumcised shall not pass through thee anymore, man. You know, that's what's about to take place. We're proclaiming liberty to the captives, man, and that's what the camps is doing. Not you whole ass niggas sitting at your home. They, they, yeah, they, 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 they distorting our message, nigga. What message, nigga? A message of sitting on your ass? A message of uh, uh, letting your people continue to uh, 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 run in mischief? Allowing their thoughts and their sins to increase in their minds, man? Ho ass niggas, man. You want to say something? Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, going back into what the brothers was going into, like uh, that was always Esau's MO, man, as far as regarding the Israelites to get them to sin against their power. Even when you read again, uh, even when you read in the book of First uh, Maccabees, or uh, when you had um, Antiochus, when he came in, what did he do, man? All right, he what well, he tried to force our people to, uh, uh, to to do wicked sacrifices on the altars and everything like that. Stop circumcising their children. Exactly. Uh, well, he wrote it. Pork. He wrote it in law. He said that every man should leave the uh, uh, own, the laws, their laws. Of, their, uh, of their fathers, man. Yeah. He wrote that in law, man. Mm-hmm. You know. Which is what Esau, what Esau, he, what he's going to write in law, that everybody got to take that chip. That's contrary to what? The law of our forefather, man. Yeah. Say, it, say with them. Uh, I was just going to say, and then uh, in that account, it specifically says that what? He uh, told them to do those things that they may forget the law of their power, man. You know? So what? That was his MO. Let me get them to forget the ways of righteousness so that they'll have no chance of returning back into the Lord. But 
the Lord had already had it set up that Yahweh Shai was going to die for the sins of the elect. So it didn't matter. It's, well, the whole nation, all right, starting off first and foremost with the elect. So it didn't matter the sins that those men uh, uh, committed. They were going to be covered and they were still going to be brought back unto the Heavenly Father through the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai made. And that's what Esau didn't calculate, man. They forgot to, to put <laughs> Yahweh Shai into the equation, man, because they keep trying to force us to sin. And, and really, they are doing a good job because there's no way we can keep all the laws. But that's the point of Yahweh Shai. He's, he's, he's there because why? We can't keep all the laws. That's the point of uh, the whole point of the second um, covenant, man. You know, Yahweh Shai is the mediator of a better covenant, man. He's he's on our behalf. You know what I'm saying? You got to read something. Uh, it's back in uh, Judas 5 and 18. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles very sore and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground and their cities were taken by the enemies. So when we what? When we were sinning, it would hold good things from us, man. Right, it led us into what? Captivity. Yep. Right. Hence where we are now. Exactly. Right? Exactly. This is verse 19. But now... Are they returned to their God and are come up from the places where they were scattered and have possessed Jerusalem? And that's talking spiritually right now, man. Man, that's the, that's the, the third temple being hey, being brought up. That's right, man. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. That's right, man. Because it, it, it all starts spiritually first before it's manifested. Exactly. Right? It says. Can you read that again? Yeah. This is uh, uh, Judith 5 and 19. But now are they returned to their power? And are come up from the places where they were scattered. We're being gathered by the word according to the book of Baruch. It says, and have possessed Jerusalem where their sanctuary is and are seated in the hill country for it was desolate. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin and let us go up and we shall overcome them. So if these niggas fucking up, that's their destruction, and nigga, we going to prevail, right? Verse 21, but if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them, and their God be for them, and we become a reproach before all the world. What happened to Egypt? They became a reproach for all the world. For what? For the things that they did unto the children of Israel, man. It's the same thing that's going to take place with Esau, Edom, and the rest of these nations, man. They're going to come a reproach. Why? Because there is not going to be found any iniquity in the nation of Israel. And when I mean the nation of Israel, I mean the Israel of God. And when I say the Israel of God, I'm talking about the elect of Yasharala, man. Because two-thirds of our people are not accounted as Israel, as it is written. All Israel are not Israel. You know? They forgot to put that. See, they didn't put that in the equation, man. Esau, even he, he thought he had a loophole. I'm going to keep these niggas sitting. I'm going to stay in rulership. I'm going to put you pork know? in everything. I'm going to put pork in yeah. the motherfucking right. toothpaste and the fucking concrete, and I'm going to put pork in the water. That'll keep them away from their power. Nah, you ain't. Nah, you ain't it's prophecy that we would raise from the graves that you put us in, man. It was prophecy that the Lord would put a spirit, a spirit upon us, and we would climb out of them tombstones, man. Sp and that's why this here. It's like it, nah, stir up our pure, uh, yeah. our pure, pure minds. minds. Yeah. We have remembrance. Yeah. We have remembrance. Just imagine you kill somebody, right? You kill somebody, you put him six feet under. After you kill him, you put him six feet under, you buried his ass, put a whole bunch of dirt upon him, man. Then this motherfucker pop out of the dirt. And he's like, man, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to comfort a motherfucker that killed him, man. That's us, man. Yeah. You put us in the dirt. You killed us, man. But we rise out of that and we're proclaiming judgment upon you saying, you're going to have to pay for what you have done to us. We're gonna, You're going to have to pay for you killing us, man, but, for all the atrocities, atrocities that you have done to us, man. They did that, what, in Psalms 80, what, 82 80, or 83? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 82? Psalms 83. Yeah. 83? Well, they want us to have no remembrance of, of, who, we are, of, who, of, of who we are, man. Yeah. Yeah. Our power. Hey, yeah. So Edom says, raise it, raise it. Even sure. to the foundation thereof, man. Uh -huh. You know, let it not be a stone left. Like, erase these niggas. Yeah. That's what Cain had in his heart when he destroyed Abel, man. That was yeah. an act of genocide right there. Yeah. That's the same spirit that's in these motherfuckers today, man. These, 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 these self proclaimed white people, the red Hebrew Edomites. You see? And the brother was saying about uh, how we're rising out of our graves. So that's according to Revelation 11. Ezekiel. See, because they, 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 they thought in their mind it's is, is the, uh, uh, the story of Lazarus. 
Uh, when Yahweh Shah went to go raise up Lazarus, they said they said it's been it's been four days. He's surely, dead. surely he's thinking. He's thinking. Yeah, he's he, he's thinking. Well, according to Revelation eleven, it's been what three and a half days, man. Please. So when they mind and they mind, it's like yeah, these niggas stink. They start to corrode. They, the, the body decomposing. Pretty, these niggas yeah, stupid. Man. Pretty much, there ain't no way we can rise back it, up. It, exactly. But they did that in slavery too, though. Esau, man, he had that rod on our neck, man. Uh, until they had us in a mentality like, all right, okay, let's let's take the, the that rod off their neck and let them think they're free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's still slaves, man. That's the worst slave to be, man. A slave that think they're free, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what he did to our people, man. Mm -hmm. Think we run around free when you still a damn slave. But that's the beautiful thing about the rod, about the wisdom, about the scriptures. Because Yahweh Shah said the truth shall set, set you free. free. The Lord it? said, What? I will break the yokes off you, man. Uh -huh. Right, right. You know? And in the book of Isaiah, I'm not quoting it correctly, but it speaks about the uh, uh, you have broken the bonds, the yokes that he put us on. That's talking about in our mind, man. We're no longer slave to the mentality of this world, whatever, whatever doctrine we was in. You know, whether it be Christianity, whether it be Islam, whether it be uh, uh, atheism, uh, yeah, you, know, you, you, you just yeah. thinking whatever, your own Science. mentality. Science, you know, that goes back to atheists. You know, niggas uh, yeah. believe it's oh, all yeah, the big bang and evolution, and you evolved from monkeys and shit. That's all bullshit, man. You know, but they didn't think we would raise up from the dead, but now we're raising up. Now we're giving our people what hope through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. That's 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 that's. that's that's detrimental in the eyes of uh, Esau. Giving our people hope. They don't want us to have hope. That's the point, because even with these carnal niggas, they was giving our people hope. And what happened? They put them down quick, you know? But now they can't stop. They can't stop this. Wow. You can't stop this. Why? Because this is done through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. This is written, baby. If this counsel or this work was of many, it will come to naught. But since it's up to Heavenly Father, you can do nothing against it, unless you find yourself to fight against the Lord Himself. That's Acts the uh, fourth chapter, right. or the fifth chapter. Yeah, it's right. Acts five. Acts five. And, and, and everything five. we tried, man, it came to naught, man. But this right here ain't gonna come to naught, man. It's, hey, hey all, yes. that, all that, man. The, the, the Martin Luther King, you know what I'm saying? Malcolm X, yeah. uh, Black Marcus Gap, Garvey, Marcus Garvey. Uh, the Black Panthers, all that came to naught, man. You know what I'm saying? But this right here ain't going to come tonight because this is the Lord's doing. This is the Lord raising up his people, man, because he know he about to come and visit this place. So, yeah. You know, it says unless the Lord keep the city, they wake in vain that, that, yeah, that, yeah. that, that watches Psalms. it, you know, unless the Lord build it. You know, uh, the builders are building roughly paraphrasing the scripture, man. This is the works of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, can we jump back to that uh, uh, Sirach 30? Kind of. If we ain't got nothing else, will we hold anything? I still got the Sirach 23 on there. Uh, I think that was it in that. Uh, see, see what the next verse say? Kind of Sirach chapter 23. If you could reread that verse about our enemies uh, rejoicing over us. Okay, Con, this is uh, Sirach chapter uh, 23. Because it's showing you, man. Our enemies rejoice over us. Why? Because our sins abound. And when our sins abound, that that, that equals with our ruin. That equals with what? Their rise. Yeah. You know? And that's what's really grieving these heathens, man, yeah. which we're going to get back to, you know? Exactly. Well, that's why in the book of Maccabees, I believe it's first Maccabees, the fifth chapter, it says that the heathens was displeased because of what yep. the uh, Israelites rededicated the yep. temple and the sanctuary yep. as it was before. Yep. So it's the same thing that's happening now, spiritually, first and foremost. Like, we don't have a sanctuary. We don't have a whole altar and stuff physically, but spiritually, we are the sanctuary. Physically, we are the, the, uh, the altar, man. Physically, we are the kingdom, man. The kingdom is here. The kingdom is within us, man. The kingdom is about to manifest itself physically, man. When Yahweh Shai make his return, man, hey, the Lord's about to... Do away with all these people, man. The Lord's about to do away with America, about to do away with Donald Trump, about to do away with all these wicked people, man. And he's about to put us in the rule of shit, man. That's what I believe, man. That's what we all believe, man. We know it's about to come, okay? And they see it too, man. That's why they try to say, oh, the Space Force, sixth branch of the military. Nigga, you finna lose to our Lord, man. We, it's already written that you would do that, man. It's already written that you would do all these things, and our, it's already written that we gonna win no matter what you try to do, man. Okay, but Slaki, go ahead, man. Slaki. Uh, this is uh, Sirach chapter 23 and verse 3. Lest my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction, and I fall before mine adversaries, and mine enemy rejoice over me, whose hope is far from thy mercy. 
Oh Lord, Father. Yeah, he don't want to see mercy. He don't want to see mercy upon the nation of Israel, man. He he want to see us be uh, judged according to our sins. That's why he's what forcing us to sin. But what does the scripture say? The accuser of thy brother and is yeah, shut down, man. You go, he shut the fuck down, man. You trying to have us drink your wine, man? We ain't drinking that shit, man. You gonna get shut the fuck down? Says that the, uh, he that destroyed the earth shall be destroyed. Roughly paraphrasing, man. You gonna get your judgment, nigga. You talking about you Edomites, man. You so called white people. You so called Caucasians, man. You Edomites. Y'all gonna get your judgment, man. Okay, go ahead. It says, O Lord, Father and power of my life, give me not a proud look, but turn away from thy servants always a haughty mind. Right, because the Lord hates pride. It said pride is the beginning of a, of a man being departed from his power, being departed from his God, man. Uh, you know, it said pride, uh, Isaiah 2 and 11, pride and a haughty look shall be brought down, man. The Lord hates pride. Pride is hateful before uh, men and the heavenly father, man, as the scriptures say. Okay. And also say pride hey, lead it to destruction too. That's it. You know? that's it. Yep. yep. Uh shoot, that's pretty much the point. Okay. I can hop back in Sirach 30 then. This Sirach chapter 30 and verse 1. It says, He that loveth his son causeth them off to fill the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. He that chasteneth his son shall have joy of shall have joy in him. And shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance. He, yeah, you start bragging about him with your friends, man. It says, He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. And that's the point, man. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. Why, man? Because, because you, you, you've been raised up, what? Knowing who the enemy is. Mm -hmm. So now you watch, now you're keeping an eye out for that nigga, man. As it says in the book of Sirach, never trust thy enemy. Yeah. For like uh -huh. as iron rusted, so is his wickedness, wickedness man. So you can know, don't trust this nigga. So you can know, man. Hey, 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 keep your eyes on this devil at, at all times. At all times. Not when he even when he's smiling at you, man. Especially when, when that nigga's smiling. You know what I'm saying? Giving you rise or giving you uh um buying your lunch, whatever the hell he is, he doing for you, man. Never, never, ever trust your enemy, man. Yep, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Our people get Man, oh, all fucked up. Kinda, yeah, you know what I'm no, he's, a, he's a good man. Well, he's cool. Good, man. Well, he man. helped me get a job. He helped me with this. And, and, and the same motherfucker that hired me, and this brother know him, the same, he the nicest motherfucker either, Mike. He was calling a Jake at my job, a nigger. You know, he was calling him all type of, this is what they say, racial slurs. You know, I wasn't there, but they, they, he, for a fact, called him a nigger, and he called him all type of racial slurs. He's the nicest He's the one, how's your day going, Tyrone? Man. Oh, how's your wife? You know what I'm saying? He's a devil. He hates you. It don't matter how nice they are. He's an Edomite. That, and it's written. Come back. Exactly. It, it, Edomite is written that they, it, 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 they're they created to hate us. We're created to hate them. Period. Yeah. Point blank. Yeah. You know? yeah. Hey, what's the, uh, uh, my man off Minister Society? Uh, uh, he was the cop. Oh, you know, uh, Bernie Mac. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, not Bernie. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> slack it out. He uh, was on uh, something else. <laughs> yeah, but my man said, you know, you know, you fucked up. You know, you just fucked up. You know, he was a big, big black Jake. You know what I'm saying? Dark skin black. Right. Dark skin Jake. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, old cat. He playing on a couple movies. Kind but anyway, he did an interview on Vlad TV, and uh, he was talking about. He was like, yeah, growing up, I hated white people. I hated the motherfuckers, man. Because he seen. Because I think he said his grandparents were slaves. He seen how they was treated. He said, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he said how, how he seen like barbecues, barbecues, you know what I'm talking about? You know, and this was up north. His parents were uh, up north and shit. And then he was like, what changed his view was a, a so-called white woman who helped him through school, mm. you know, and she she pretty much helped him through and gave him his start and everything. A gift to strike the heart. You know, and oh, all, yeah, see, and that's when I realized like, no, not all white people are bad and all this and that. You know what? No, nah, them niggas are still the fucking devil, man. And who's to say that that so-called white woman wasn't a confusion of face? Right. You know, she could have been an Israelite. But anyway, it goes in the book of Job. It says his children shall seek to please the poor. Yes. Well, wherever it goes, man, don't trust that red, pasty bastard, man. Never so trust thine enemy, Sarai. Sarai for 15. Though he crouches, you know what I'm saying? Like, he tried to be cool and say his, his word is more than butter. You know, but war is in his heart. Yeah, yeah man, yeah, yeah. no, no. See, 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 Jake don't don't get a credit to you. How about Shamia The yeah, reason yeah, yeah. this heathen show favor unto you is Lord. because the Lord show favor unto you, right. man. Ooh, man. You yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. 
The Lord did that, man. Hey, hey, give thanks to y'all about shouting y'all shot. You, hey, you niggas that's been uh, pampered and nurtured here in America, you looking at Esau like, oh, he's your daddy. He's the man that gave you your Section 8, especially you nigga women. He's the man that gave you your Section 8. He's the one that gave you your food stamps. Like, it was this one... Uh, I'm going to use this word. I'm going to use it because these niggas is void. They they in complete darkness. This is one black bitch, right? Blonde head, black bitch. I mean, this bitch man, dark than a hoe. Hair blind than a bitch. Ugly than a hoe, too, mind you. But she, thank you, government. Oh, yeah, the man. government is my kid's daddy. They provide this and that and that. No, bitch. Your how about Shum Y'all Shah provided that for you, man. That's why in the book of Second Edges, the ninth chapter, it says that those that have uh, received benefits and have not known me, mm-hmm. and you gonna get you gonna get it, man. See, because you don't you don't give thanks to Yahweh Basham Yahusha for that job. You give thanks to Esau, like that old lady. Please, Mister Trump, let's yeah, go back yeah, to back work. To work. Bring the jobs mm-hmm. back. That plea she was going was what a supplication. She was praying to Donald Trump, man. Wanted him to go to Egypt for help. You see, this is why the Lord is angry with this place, man. But when I say this place, I'm talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You Israelites that's not giving the credit to the Lord. You see? The Lord is angry as hell with the rest of the world. Why? Because of the wickedness that, that, uh, that they're portraying, man. Homosexuality is running rampant. This devil is polluting the seas, the, 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 the skies, the food. Why? These heathens cooking dogs, cats, rats, monkeys. Bats. You know what I'm saying? Yes, bro. Like, like not even bullshit, man. This is what takes place around the world, man. Wickedness is being uh, 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 exceedingly, exceedingly promoted, man. Exceedingly polluted heart. What you got? Uh, back in uh, Sirach. Bro, what were you using some? No, nah, no. Nah, I just had a quick one, if I may. Uh, Sirach chapter 14 and verse uh, 7. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. So just to show it, these devils, man, even when they do it good, they do it that unwi- uh, unwillingly, all right? Either the Lord put the spirit on them to do good, or a lot of the times, like, you got these Edomites that have, uh, 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 like, different types of foundations for the kids and so on and so forth. They're trying to help the so-called black community and everything like that. They're doing that to get tax write-offs. Yeah, yep. It's benefiting them. It's it, benefiting them. They have to get a benefit, and it right. says that in Sarai. Well, that's also in Sarai, too. It says if you have need of thee, exactly. he will that's use it. thee. He will bleed thee once or twice. Right, right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It might say twice or thrice if I'm not right. mistaken. But then it said, when he have no need of thee, he will, he will cast you know. And probably said tender mercies of the wicked is but cruel, man. They showing you, they showing you love, but really they have a cruel mentality behind that, man. You know, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get these niggas benefits, but the whole reason is what so that they can lean upon the government. So that what when they lean upon, they're leaning so heavily upon the government that. No matter what I give them, they're gonna they're gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? What well, they're they're so dependent upon the government. When I take those benefits away, then they're gonna whatever I throw at them, they're gonna say, yeah, I need that. Yeah, I want that. And whatever the government is is producing, yeah, I need that. Why? Because that's what they were leaning upon. That's why in Proverbs says the tender the, the tender mercy of the uh, wicked is but cruel, man. It's cruelty behind it. You know. Yeah, and you see the you see the examples of these guys that have sold out. They've gone through thick and thin for Esau to try and uh, come up on top. And when they get to a certain point, man, uh, Esau casts them aside, man. Like you got men like Bill Cosby or even like uh, Kevin Hart. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Hart's been cooning for these niggas for the longest. And then what did they do? Just recently, they brought out information on him that that happened like years back or something like that. Try to throw him in his uh, throw it in his face to uh, demonize him. That shows you that what it doesn't matter how hard you go for these devils. It doesn't matter what you do. You're still going to be the devil. They're still going to be wicked. All right. And, and that's just what it is. Man. Right. Coons is going to die. All you sell out mm. niggas, y'all niggas is going to die, man. They show you that in the book of uh, Maccabees, man. All, every, every nigga that was working for the Romans and shit, man. Y'all niggas ain't nobody to them. Y'all just a tool, man. All right. Y'all going to die. die. They got to die, man. They going to die. It's, it's going to happen. Man, you, ain't, you ain't getting no pass. Them, them coons, so lucky. Them coons ain't gonna be in the, in the bunkers with with the elites. Them coons ain't gonna be in the in the fallout shelters of the intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Them coons is gonna be the ones to get the chip, and they're gonna fill the missiles, man. Plain and simple. Sure. You know? But I come back into Sirach chapter thirty and verse three. It says, "He that teacheth the son grieveth the enemy." And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. Right? So you teaching your son, 
us teaching our men and grieve with the enemy. We're telling you who the enemy is. We're telling you who you are. We're telling you who you're to, you are. How, how are you to carry yourself? That grieve with the enemy. Why? Because the enemy is trying to tell you how you should live. The enemy is telling me, yeah, yeah, you can walk around with your pants off your ass. You can walk around selling drugs. That's how you're supposed to live. That's how the enemy is teaching our sons. But when we teach our sons, no, that's not how you're supposed to live. Pull your fucking pants up. Grow your damn beard out, man. Live according to the Bible that grieve with the enemy. Why? Because it's contrary of what they're trying to tell our people. It's contrary of what they're trying to indoctrinate us with, man. Yeah, because you know? it starts with the apostles. You know, as Paul wrote and said, what? And I have begotten you through the gospel, just like the apostles, man. You know, they're teaching us what? They're, they're uh, these, these law, statutes, and commandments. You know, what's pleasing unto the Lord. So where what? Where are their spiritual sons that they're teaching, man? And that's what's grieving these heathens, man. Yeah, it said teach, said teach Judah the uh, use of the bow, man. And that's what we're doing spiritually. We're teaching them, hey, this this is the Bible. This is this is the bow right here. This is the weapon right here. You know what I'm saying? This is the weapon that's bringing this place down. So us teaching them about themselves, about who they are, how the so-called white man's the devil, just telling them the truth, period. That's grieving the enemy. Instead of teaching them, yeah, you could be a rapper. Yeah, you could be just like little women. Oh, you want to be, you know, whatever you want to be. Oh, go be a doctor. Go make sure you finish school. We're not telling them that. We're saying make sure you get into this book. This book is what's going to govern you. That's what's grieving the enemy because it's contrary of what they uh, uh, indoctrinated us to be outside of their Outside of their whole propaganda, or uh, what's the word I'm looking? Not propaganda, but outside of their whole um, uh, agenda. agenda. Outside of their whole agenda, we're teaching them everything outside of contrary to what their agenda is set up, man. We're telling our people that they're the Israelites and they're not niggas. That they're the Israelites, they're not spicks. That they're the Israelites and not savages. That's fucking up their whole uh, uh, their whole plan. Right. That's you know? why we consider. Hey, actually, in all I saw, we're the peacemakers. But yeah. they look at us as the troublemakers exactly. because we coming against their agenda. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Telling you like, hey, this ain't what's up, man. We against their agenda, so they they label us as, as troublemakers. They label us as as terrorists. Man. Yeah, because you know we the peacemakers through Yahweh Shah to do what? To reconcile the nation of Israel back to the Most High, and that's what's really grieving them. Because why? Because we're coming back in our right mind. So now the Lord is able to be amongst us and defend us. Yeah. You know, because when you read in, uh, uh, I believe it was uh, uh, Joshua, when the Khan took the curse thing, Joshua was like, damn, like, Lord, you was with us. Like, pretty much, how, how, how did this happen? The Lord said, like, hey, I can't be amongst you when something accursed is, 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 is amongst y'all. Right. You know, so if one of us is worshiping idols or that's why the, the, the Yahweh Shah said, what? If I write arm offend thee, cut it off, off man. A little leaven, love is the whole love. The Lord can dwell. In, in, uh, amongst us, if wickedness is there, man. You can't have light and darkness in, in the same room, you know what I'm saying? You know? So, so that's why we must continue to do what? To wash ourselves, man. Yep. You know? Because that's how we say clean in the eyes of Yahweh Shah, man. As long as we're doing what's written within these pages, if we conduct ourselves, everything we do, everything we say, and our, how we move is all uh, uh, in, in, in accordance with what's written within these pages, man. This is the mindset of Yahweh Shah as it is written. This is my beloved son in whom yeah, I am well pleased. pleased. Hear ye him. How do we hear him? Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. He said, if any, hey, he that heareth you, heareth yeah, me. Yeah. That's how we hear the Lord, man. Be the rod. You know? So if we, as long as we have the mindset of Yahweh Shah, as it says in 1 Corinthians, the second chapter, the last verse, then we're found blameless in the eyes of Yahweh, our father, man. Because Yahweh Shah, he's, he, he's our mediator. Hey, Father, they, hey, hey, all that you told me, they doing it. So guess what the Most High is saying, man? Oh, those those my boys, bro. Right? You know? Any man come against them or touch them, they, hey, they going to have to deal with me. That's right. It's like a godfather. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like motherfuckers knew. Like, no, that's 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 the that's the mob's daughter. That's my name. You know what I'm saying? That's the godfather's that's daughter. You know? Yeah, yeah, You are not the, hey, 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 watch who you talking to. Like, don't talk to, you know? Because the Most High, he going to send that hit. Who the hitmen? The angels, man. You better ask Hall of Fenernis, whole ass. What happened to him, man? He tried to come and rob the temple, man. Hey, those angels beat the brakes off his ass, man. This is the power that we're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? The angels is always with us, man. Why Why are they with us, though? Because we fear the, hey, how about Shimmy, how was that? The angels. There is a camp around amongst those that fear him. Because why? Because you're hearing the ride. 
Once you heard the ride, you received the correction, you got right. Why? But through the fear that you had. The return of the Lord would persuade men. It says the beginning of wisdom is what? The fear of the Lord, man. It all coincides, you know? The apostles of the heart just uploaded a video, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword, man. So every everybody who, who, who's not following after the things, look, this 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 is what the Bible says, man. A side note, real quick, we're gonna get back into that uh that's a rock. This is first John four and four. Speaking to us, right? It says, Ye are of the most high, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, man. So greater is Yahweh Shah that's within us. You know what I'm talking about? I can do all things through Yahweh Shah that strengtheneth me. Yeah. The spirit is within us. Now let's keep reading. Verse 5. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Mm -hmm. You see? So they're going to speak all manner of what? Nonsense, man. Is verse 6. We are of God. We are of the Heavenly Father. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And this is how we discern between who serves the Most High and who don't. This is how we discern between what's clean and what's unclean, man. If you hear what the apostles and elders of Great Millstone is teaching, you are of the Most High. And not only a hearer, but a doer also, man. You must apply the things that you're learning. Proverbs 4 and 7, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. But with all thy getting, get, get understanding. understanding. Understanding is what? The proper application of the wisdom that we're learning, man. Knowing how to apply these things in our everyday life. You see? This is what we're learning. This is how we're pleasing Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And this is what's grieving these heathens once again, man. Not these niggas uh, sitting in their house. Here it is. You got guys, bro, thousands of followers and shit. You don't even know what they look like. They following this nigga. Yeah, yeah, those camps wicked. Yeah, you right. You don't even know what this nigga look like. This nigga could be a whole Edomite, Joe, leading your ass. You know what I'm talking about? You don't even know what this man look like. Hey, the scripture says that I shall see thy teachers. If this nigga ain't put his face out there, Joe, that's like you know right there. Yeah, he ain't a teacher, bro. All these niggas want to talk about the cats. Wisdom cries with thought. She uttered her voice in the streets. In the chief place of concourse, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? That's saying what? How long you motherfuckers gonna stay stupid? Oh, see, the message of the, the camps is hateful. No, we just making it into today's terms. How long, ye simple ones, we you've been called simple. Come on, man. God, if somebody God, say today, bro, God. why are you being simple, bro? We know what that means. The scripture said it. How long ye simple will ye love simplicity? This is what the Lord said. The Lord said that my people are sodish, like the brother just quoted. That word sodish means stupid. Oh, but the message is hateful. No, this is what the Bible says. This is what this, this was written. Scripture says, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, but because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So what are people willingly choose to be ignorant, man? We're giving you the knowledge, but you would rather go about things according to your own ways, man. And because you're having that mindset, that's really a, a mindset of prideful. Pridefulness, my way is better than the most high's way. Well, what is the Lord going to do, man? He's going to reject you and your children, man. Pursuant to that, Hosea 4 and 6. Yep. Jump back to that Sirach. This Sirach chapter 30 and verse 3. It says, He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Though his father die, yet he is though, it's like a yet, he is though he were not dead. Right. Why? Because he trained up his son to be just like him. He lives on through his son. Exactly, man. You know, one of my, my favorite movie, The Lion King. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what 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 uh, Mufasa showed up in that cloud and said, What man, you have forgotten me? Simba said, No, 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 heavy. Father, I would never forget you. He said, You have forgotten who you are, mm -hmm. therefore you, you have, have forgotten, forgotten me. me. Yep. So it's the same thing, man. So now that we're remembering who we are, we're remembering our heavenly father. We're remembering the things we were taught. 
So now we're what? We're, now we're likened unto him. We're made after the similar to, after the image of Yahweh Shai. That's what it says in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's Colossians, man. We are renewed after the image of his son. Because the son is just like the father. If you've seen me, you've seen the father, man. Me and my father are one. Meaning what? Of one mind. We're on the same accord. You know? It says, though his father died, yet he is as though he were not dead. For he have left one behind him that is like himself. Yep. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him. And when he died, he was not sorrowful. For left is like it. He was not sorrowful. He left behind him an avenger against his enemies and one that shall requite kindness to his friends. Mm -hmm. So he left someone that was had the same mind as him. He left someone that uh, 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 someone that had the same mindset, his own son. He, physically, he looked like him, you know what I'm saying? And then spiritually and mentally, he had the same mindset as him. Like, man, fuck these Edomites. Man, I poor my people. Man, I poor the nation of Israel, man. So that means that father, when he dies, he's like, I live on through what? Through my son because he's carrying my vibration. And then when that son has his son, he's going to teach his son the same thing. So what? That, that vibration, that righteous vibration continues to live on and it never dies out. Because that was the monster. That, that's kind of like what the Lord was. Uh, uh, he was boasting about Abraham. He knew that Abraham was teach uh, uh, his seed line of the righteous uh, laws and so on and so forth. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Have you considered my servant, Joel? Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. The Lord take pleasure in his in, in his sons, man. Like look, 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 look at my boys down there, man. They're they they're they, they doing what I told them to do, man. Hey, our father takes pleasure in that, you know. Yeah, like Lavar, Lavar Ball. He's like, yeah, look at my boys, man. Hey, hey that man, nigga bragged that <laughs> season. Man, they're better than LeBron. He's better than LeBron. He's man. He, 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 they can't. They're not gonna make it to the league without. Uh, they're not gonna make it to the playoffs without uh, 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 Lonzo. Oh, oh y'all want to y'all want to win a championship? You got to sign all my boys. You got to sign all three of them. You know, and he, he brag about his sons. You know, that's how you want the Lord to do for. That's how we want the Lord to do for us. Like, yeah, that's my boy out there, man. He not gonna bow down to your image, man. He not gonna take your chip, man. He not gonna he not he not gonna stand he not gonna uh, 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 stand quiet while you promoting all that wickedness, man. He gonna speak against all that shit, man. The Lord is uh uh, uh he's pleased with the work that we're doing, man. You know. It says, um, Sirach 30 and verse 7, it says, He that maketh too much of his sons shall bind up his wounds, and his bowels will be troubled at every city. Right, and that's a balance with that, too, because that nigga, that nigga LeVar make too much of his son. Boy. Yeah, he say, he say Lonzo better than Curry. This yeah, nigga's stats is terrible. He amped them niggas up too much, man. Yeah, yep. And this talking about also uh, uh, being too overly... Uh, too no, uh, too overly uh, soft shoot. with your son, man. Oh, okay, okay, fine. You know, it's because it says you shall uh, basically uh, your son start crying. Oh, what's wrong? You go call uh, him yeah, and shit, yeah, man. Yeah. No, it says you're gonna bound up every wound, man. Yeah. You know, that's why it's going. To, I believe it's the same chapter. It says a uh, uh, wink not his ignorances and smile not at him, man. You know. But go ahead. That's what's happening with us. Like, like the Lord ain't winking at our ignorances, nigga. We fuck up. The Lord gonna punish us. Like, no, nah, nigga, you shouldn't have did that. You know. Sirach chapter 30 and verse 8. Because you don't get to enjoy your day. Because you, you got to establish that that that, that 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 seriousness. When your child, is, when he's a child, you got to let him know, like, you, hey, I'm the ruler. I'm, I'm, I'm in, you know, you do what I say. And then once he grow up, now you can enjoy him. Now you can smile with him and deal with him, you know? And then you hear brothers that say that, you know, who, who, who was raised by their fathers, man. You know, back then when they was, you know, going through it, you know, like it says in Hebrews 12, the chastening of the present time is not joyous but grievous, but it yieldeth the peaceable fruits of righteousness. The brothers that did have a uh, father in them, you know, that was hard on them. Now that they have of, of age, they look back and they be like, hey, 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 I thank my father for being hard on me like that, man. I appreciate it, like, yeah. man, because I wouldn't have got that chastisement. Shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You would have had a spoiled brat that's, you know what I'm saying, think the world owed him something, boy. You know what I'm saying? Think, you know what I'm saying? That you don't have a mind frame that's gonna have you fucked up in this world, man. You know what I'm saying? But when you get corrected, you know, hey, you know what it is, man. You know, you gotta get that correction, man. Yeah, you know. Yeah, because that correction on whatever it may have been, that that would ultimately kept you out of jail. You know what I'm saying? Like 
the little things and little uh, things that you thought was minute at that time, you, you apply it to your life. And that's what kept you from going in and out of prison. Now, these niggas that's in and out of jail is because they wasn't getting that chastisement. You know, they wasn't getting that correction. Them same niggas that I, I, I'll be chastised. Pull your pants up, man. Don't be around here like that. You know what I'm saying? So now you make sure your pants is on your waist. These niggas walk around with their pants on their ass, off their ass. They never had someone to uh, correct them and tell them, bro, that's not right. Bro, pull your fucking pants up. Otherwise, I'm going to beat your ass. Therefore, now they look walking around looking like a damn homosexual, like a damn faggot, man. They never got that correction. So correction is good for us, man. Correction is making us better. You can't despise that, man. You know? But this is Sirach chapter 30 and verse uh, 8. It says, And horse not broken becometh headstrong, and a child left to himself will be willful. See? So it says, And horse not broken becometh. Meaning what? You got to break the horse in. Right. A horse not broken becometh headstrong. Meaning, uh, uh, in his, he going to do, you tell the horse to go left. Nah, he going right. Well, that's what willful means. It means self will. You trying to get on his ass. He bucking you off and shit. Right, right. And oh, you you break that horse in, man. That's what it's comparing it to a child. And it says a child left it to himself. If he's if he don't have that correction, he's gonna become now he's gonna do whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Do his that will. horse. Do his that will. Yep. It says conquer thy child. That's why it says the Lord delivered us as with sons mm -hmm. and not like these other people. Look at how these nations are delivered. They willful to the whole. They just uh, willy nilly and right. throw, you know. He's Ill. And damn motherfucking shrimp. Oh, these niggas eating shark. Their sharks eat supposed to eat your ass. These niggas eating sharks. They got they got like a, a, a exotic places with exotic foods, man. They eating jaguars and jaguar and, hamburgers. Yeah, man. Like god damn. Nigga, how you eating a jaguar, bro? You got niggas down south eating croc alligator and shit, man. Like, nigga, I, I, when I look at an alligator, I don't what picture, it, nigga, it, what it that nigga tastes taste like, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, shit. Eel. That shit yeah, a big ass leathery ass eel. Ugh. Same thing with a dog. Like, if you look at a dog, nigga, you don't desire that dog, bro. Like, it's not edible. Like, damn, nigga, I wonder what that shoulder tastes like. <laughs> no, bro, you don't, you don't even consider that. It's not lawful. But these heathens, they they look at whatever, bro. The placenta, what that tastes like. They 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 they, they do that, bro. They they, they I mean they well, literally they do that. The Sirach chapter thirty and nine it says, "Cocker thy child." And he shall make thee afraid. Play with him, and he will bring thee to heaviness. Right? You, you, you're doing too much playfulness with your son. You're being too much playful and shit. His ass gonna be a goofy when you wake up or when he grow up, man. You're gonna be a goofy ass motherfucker, man. And that which means what? You'll be in heaviness. This nigga always playing around. He ain't, don't don't want to be serious. I mean, what? You gotta be. You got to be serious with your son, man. You got to be serious with your children, man. Making sure you teaching them, instilling in them what you want them to learn when they become adults. You know, when they go off on their own, you know. It's the same thing that we're learning coming into this faith, man. Yeah. You know, this is how the Lord is dealing with us. Through what? Through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Through the men that's before us, because that's the example that's been set. This is what the Lord is speaking about. It says, laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him. Unless thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Right. It's talking about what? Being overly playful, being being too cool or, or Joke. being too soft. Yeah, we're friends. You know? Yeah. It says, give him no liberty in his youth. Right, because just like uh, uh you got examples of what? Um uh, I just had the word in my mind, Satan just took it. Familiarity. Even within with even within brothers, like shit. Like, like we cool, tell. we brothers, but it, it, you gotta understand. That ranking system and levels is set there for order's sake, not to boast and yeah, no, it's there for order's sake, man, because everything is done decently yeah. and in order. You know? So even within this, uh, you know, because we this is talking about actual father and son and how to deal with your children, but we 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 dealing right in the spirit. Mm -hmm. We dealing in the spirit, man. And this is what's grieving these uh, uh heathens. 
because we've been taught these things. We've been taught the seriousness of what? Of, of, of this life, of this walk, mm-hmm. of how to deal and conduct ourselves, man. Yeah. Just like how you would deal with your son when you want him to know, like, look, hey, you, you gonna go in, like, like, you know, yeah, you gonna, you gonna go out here, these, hey, a uh, 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 man in his right mind is gonna tell his son, don't trust these motherfuckers yep. out here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You don't, gonna, hey, no matter how they smile in your face, know that those, those are your enemies, man. Don't trust them. You know, you can play along with them and shit like that, but don't trust them. Because the moment you trust them, then they're gonna stab you in your back. They're gonna get over on you, man. They don't want they don't want that child to know that. They don't want that young man to know that. They want to get over on your ass, man. But since the father is teaching them otherwise, that's what's vexing them. That's putting the uh, monkey wrench within their plan, within their system, man. That's what we doing, man. The Lord giving us this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. We bringing their whole shit to an end, bringing their whole shit to a halt, man. They didn't expect us to rise upon our feet. They didn't expect us to proclaim that we the true Israelites. Expect us to, to give all praise to Yahweh Shemi, I was shine to proclaim their downfall. They didn't expect all that, man. But now that we're doing it, now they stuck. Like, oh shit, man. We got to do something about this. Why? Because the Lord is teaching us who our enemy is, man. The Lord is teaching us who we are, who our enemy is, and how we should conduct ourselves. He's dealing with us as we are his sons. That's why we are the Israelites, the princes of the power, the sons of God, man. You know, I just had a real quick one. So, uh, two and one, it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, we should be teaching our, our, our kids, you know what I'm saying? Our children, our sons, you know what I'm saying? To a hey, pro- hey, serve the Lord and prepare for temptation because that devil is gonna come. Hey, like hey, the devil came to Yahweh Shai, what tempted him, man. So this devil going to come tempting you, man. Don't trust this damn devil, man. You know what I'm saying? He going to do this. He going to do that. We have to know it and have that discernment in our head to know that this is our enemy. Don't trust him. I don't give a fuck if he giving you a ride or whatever the fuck he doing. You know what I'm saying? Don't trust him. Right. Because when he had that opportunity, yep. he, he going to motherfucking slice like your throat. Yep. Yep. That was the actual, actual angel Satan. That came and tempted Yahweh Shah, but yeah. he comes and worked through what? Through men. men. You know? So he gonna come, you know? And that's what we that's what we uh building and teaching each other about, you know. Because like like we said, we're comparing this in the spirit, man. We all chop children when we come into this thing. So we gotta be taught and built up in these things. Because why? Because foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it from him. The rod and reproof. Giveth wisdom. This is how we know how to maneuver through this world, man. It's through the correction. All scripture is given by what? Inspiration of the Lord, man. That's what we started with, right? You got it. Back in Sirach chapter 30 and verse 10, it says, Laugh not with him, lest thou have sorrow with him, and lest thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Give him no liberty in his youth, and weep not at his follies. Bow down his neck while he is young, and beat him on his side, or like on the sides while he is a child, lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee and bring sorrow to thine heart. And that's what's taking place, man. When we come into this faith, man, hey, guess what? Now you're being learned. Hey, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. It says what recruit let me let me just get the scripture let me get the scripture you know yeah it's in proverbs you know because a, a, a lot of guys think like uh or just because you've been in the truth for this amount of years all the reproof stops or the correction stop no man we in this fucking flesh so the, 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 the reproof the correction is continual and you should hope and pray for that man as 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 the examples we read about sirach the 23rd chapter psalms 139 king solomon what, what's that uh first kings three and when you read the uh, the wisdom of Solomon, man, when he prayed for wisdom, how do you get wisdom? Through correction. He prayed for those things, man. So when you pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, guess what that comes with? Correction. The Lord is going to put you in the, uh, if you pray for discernment, guess what? The Lord is going to put you in the situations yeah. where you have to exercise your discernment. Right, a whole life lesson. There's going to be times he's taking you out of your comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? To be able to receive the thing. Hey, hey, that's why they, what they say sometimes. Watch what you pray for. Yeah. Watch what you ask for. You might get it. 
You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So hey, that's what hey, pray for these things though. But hey, when you got these things, these afflictions coming to you, hey, rejoice, man. Like, hey, it gotta be for a a reason, you know what I'm saying, to build you up, you know. But it's a lot. Oh, good. This is uh Proverbs 17, verse 10. A reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes nice. into a fool, man. Yep. So you want to constant you, you should hope and pray for that, man. To make sure your thoughts is righteous before you have Can we get Psalms in 19 chapter, the last verse, real quick? This is uh the book of Psalms, chapter 19. In verse Psalms 19 and verse 13 or 14, it says, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Yahweh, my strength and my redeemer. So you asking for the Lord, well, King David just asking for the meditation of his heart and the words of his lips be acceptable in the Lord's sight. Why? Because. Through the abundance of your heart, the mouth speak. So that's why it's all a renewal of your mind, according to Romans, the 12th chapter, man. Having these words meditating in our spirit continually, that's what's pleasing unto you. How about Shani Al-Shada? Know the things that are pleasing unto the Lord. Our Father is what? To do the things and how he conduct himself. As Yahweh Shah came and walked on the earth and in the example he showed, which we have that example today in what? Our apostles, our elders, and men that came before us. We ought to emulate that as it is written. Mark the perfect man because the end of that man is what? It's peace. Yeah. In Philippians, I believe it's 4 and 9, Paul said, everything you've seen and learned and heard of me, that do. And the God of peace shall be with you. And Siracha says what? He left, he left behind him such a one as himself. We got to follow after the example, man. Get on that. Yeah. Well, I'll hop back in this uh, book of Sirach, chapter 30 and verse uh, 11. It says, give him no liberty in his youth and weak not in his follies. Bow down his neck while he is young and beat him on the sides while he is a child, lest he wax stubborn and be disobedient. Right, because it says what? Gather instruction from thy youth up, you know, and thou shalt be wise in thy old age, roughly paraphrased. There's another scripture that says if you hadn't gathered nothing in your youth, what you going to have when you old? Exactly. You know? It says, and be disobedient unto thee, and and so bring it's like, and so bring sorrow to thine heart. Chastise thy son and hold him to labor, lest his lewd behavior be an offense unto thee. You see? Hold him to labor, man. What? Hey, hey, hey. Applying these words. Huh? You know? Sirach the 19 chapter says what? Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth and wait for her good fruits. You see? The scripture says what? To break up your fallow ground. You know? When you when you when you look at a, 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 a farming a farming or a husbandry, you got the dirt that's dry as hell, it's hard. Well, you gotta break that up. Yeah. You know? Plant the seed, you water it, was well, the same thing with our mind. So when we breaking up that fallow ground, meaning what? We gotta constantly water ourselves, man. We gotta constantly make sure that uh, 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 um, our hearts is is what? Fleshy. And how do it how do it, how do it does that? By staying in his word, by continually praying the hour by Shami Al Shah to show us the things that's pleasing unto him. And by asking that, he's gonna what? Show you the correction. You know? Say he love with them, uh, he chastised who he loved. Whether what whether it be where uh, uh you might see it yourself, as the scripture says, a, a righteous man knoweth where he stumbled, or he might have it corrected through a brother. And he would come and set you out. Anyway it goes, you should desire the correction. Why? So you can be better for your Shami al Shah. Why? Because these heathens are being grieved that we're standing upon our feet. As the day grow uh, uh, closer and closer to, 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 to that great day, man, we should be getting more and more in the spirit, uh, closer to the Lord. We should be getting tighter uh, as a brotherhood, as a unit, more tight-knit in the spirit. 
Because we were, as, as it is written, looking uh, uh, to the things that's before. We moving forward, man. We're not progressing. Having fallouts with brothers, arguing and shit, beefing. No, oh, man, that's going backwards. Yeah, backwards. We're moving forward, man. We seeing these things pop off, man. We, hey, 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 we're in the forefront now on, 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 on national TV, you know? So now, so now it's time to what? Be more tighter in the spirit? It's now it's time to trim those laps. The brother brought a scripture yesterday at Cap, the book of Proverbs, man. The pathway of the justice, like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto that great day, man. We should be growing closer and closer in the spirit to the Lord, man. Because the more we get tighter, the more in disarray the world is going to get, man. And the more in disarray they're going to get, they're going to blame us for it. We the problem of the earth, you know? Hey, and we embrace that. We love it, man. Bring all your hate. Bring all your shit talking, man. Because that, that, that just affirms to us and gives us more confidence that we're doing what's right. Because we fulfilling what the scripture says, man. It says, blessed are you when men shall uh, uh, speak. You use for the greedy grabbing it. Uh, Luke six chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Damn, Luke six. Mm-hmm. Blessed are you when men shall uh, uh, speak. Uh, you use for the greedy grabbing it. This is Luke 6 and 22. It started, says, uh, started at 20. And 20, it says, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be you, blessed be ye poor, for yours is in the kingdom of the most high. For yours is the kingdom of heaven, uh, the most high, man. You know, blessed be ye poor. What? Poor in spirit, humble, contrite, brokenhearted, man, knowing that hey, hey, we at the full mercies of Yahweh by Sharm Yahweh Shot, right? Shit, huh? and poor too, nigga. Shit, living, living day to day. You know, as it says in Haggai, you know, uh, a bag of holes, man. I got one and six. Baruch says what, man? We are subject unto payments. You know. Well, go ahead. This is Luke uh, six and twenty one. It says, "Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled." That hunger for what? That hunger for righteousness. And what's righteousness? This word, faith. Faith in what's written. You know, hungering for to know the things that's pleasing unto the Lord. You got it. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Mm -hmm. Why are we weeping? Because the Lord said, "Come unto Him with uh, with fasting, mourning, and prayer." You know, it says it's better to go to the house of mourning than the house of feasting. It says, uh, through, "Through through sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better." That's that's how we're being perfected. Go ahead. Luke 6 and 22, it says, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. So shit, it sounds like we blessed. <laughs> you know? That, that, that should give you more hope. That should give you more boldness. As Paul said, pray for me that I have more boldness to speak the things that I ought to. Yeah, man. Prophesy the downfall of this present evil world. Tell these heathens they judgment to come for the things that they did uh, uh, throughout the uh, uh, the centuries, man. Tell two thirds uh, of our people that they're going to die to death. Why? Because they're not repenting. Verse twenty three. It says, "Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven." For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. So it sounds like we in good company. You know? That's what they did unto Yahweh Shah. That's what they did to all the, uh, the ancient prophets, man. You know? I'm honored to be amongst that. The water Yahweh about Shah Yahweh Shah. But let's keep reading. It says, But woe unto you that are rich. For ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Right. 
Oh, you, you, know, you ain't got to tell me nothing. I know my Lord. I ain't got to go out to the highways and hedges. All these camps. Oh, you must be fooled then. You know? You stuck in your ways. It speaks about uh, 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 that old bottle. When he tasted the, uh, 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 the new wine, he said, oh, no, the old wine is, is, is better. They, they stuck in their ways, man. It says, one more to you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn weep. and weep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, see, we ain't laughing. Hey, we crying now, man. We Right now, we, we crying out to the Lord, man. Our them inside and cry for the abomination that the end of this that's it, man. Hey, but we're going to laugh, man. We're going to laugh when we see the, the downfall of our enemy, man. We're going to rejoice, you know? We say, go ahead. He say, you shall laugh at destruction. You shall laugh. And that, and that famine, you shall laugh. I keep paraphrasing the joke. Yeah. It says, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. For so He said, whoa, different destruction on you. If everybody's saying, oh, yeah, I like him. Oh, he the best teacher in Israel. It said, woe unto you if that's the case, man. Oh, they a good camp. Right. Oh, yeah, they a good camp. The scripture, the scripture right. says the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, man. Yep. You know? God. It says, woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. To the false prophets. So the real prophets was what? They, 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 they was beaten. They were stoned. They were spoken. They, they were spoken spoke all, all manner of evil against them. But the frost, the, the, the frost, frost, the frost. <laughs> damn, the, false, the prophets. false prophets. Guess what, man? They, they they was exalted. They was being up. They couldn't do no wrong. And you seeing that same thing playing out today, you know? That's why the, uh, the Lord said, what? Having eyes, but they see not. Having ears, but they hear not. Like, if you in the spirit, you can see who, who this applies to. <laughs> you know, you see it. And for the for, for us ones that can see it, man, ain't the wadi of how about shopping our shop for giving us that eye salve that we may see and continue to do what we doing, man. Don't get fearful like these niggas is. No, because the more we see these things playing out, man, it, our hope should be getting greater and greater, man. Shit. It says hope deferred make it the heart sick. But when it is come, it is a tree of life, man. We should be getting more uh, 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 invigorated through the spirit, man. It says when men will not believe that thou art in full power, thou showest thy strength. And among them that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest, man. Wisdom Solomon 12 and 17. So amongst them that know the Lord's power, when we see these things popping off, because why? Because the Lord told us before it even uh, played out. Our boldness should become stronger and stronger, man. You know? You got, you got, it's more it on, You hold some? Uh, yeah, Con, just, yeah, this is a uh, Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 10. It says, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. It's going back into what brothers was going into earlier. It's like, hey, you got to ask and want that correction. If you don't want that correction, because what if you if you hate it, then what you ain't gonna actually uh, listen to it and apply it, man. You know, it says that what if you uh, despise that correction, you're gonna die. And that's the majority of our people out here. They don't want to hear the rise, so what they're gonna die. The scripture says, um uh, anybody that um well it says it right here, he that despises the word the word, 29, uh, 29. Huh, the word. I'll just grab it real quick. This is uh, the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter twenty. Uh, eight and Proverbs thirteen and thirteen tell you too. That's though, it. If you despise his word, you go. Hey, death and destruction is coming unto you, man. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Con. I read it. Uh, Proverbs thirteen and thirteen. Who's I read verse twelve? <laughs> Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, mm. but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Mm. Hey, what the brother had quoted right there. That's the spirit. Verse 13, whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. So if you despise this word, if you despise the rod, all right, that correction, those instructions, you're going to be destroyed, man. 
quick Sweet. precept. This is Proverbs chapter 28, and verse 9. It says, He that turneth away his ear. Sorry, sorry, Joe. Sorry, no, verse 4. This is Proverbs chapter 28, and verse 4. It says, It says, They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. No, no. They that forsake the law, which is what? These words. They praise the wicked. But they that keep the law, the things written within these pages, contend with, with them. them. Oh, but y'all hateful. Y'all sorry. Y'all are y'all troublemakers. That, that, that says what it says, man. Scripture says, I wrote unto you that you should earnestly contend for the faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. Paul said that I am set for the, the, uh, the defense of the gospel, man. So we're going to defend our friend as is written in the book of Sirach. I am not ashamed to defend a friend. Neither will I hide myself from him, man. You old ass niggas. They, 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 they want to hide themselves from, 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 they, uh, from Yahweh Shah now. They want to separate themselves from, from, from our covenant from what's written within these pages, man. And the Lord said these heathens ain't got a, 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 a hope, man. It says there is no peace to the wicked, saith my power, man. It says surely salvation is, uh, in, is hope for, in, 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 uh, from the hills in vain. Roughly paraphrasing, you know? What is Arubel and Joshua and the rest of our fathers telling me this man? Hey, 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 you, you, you ain't got you ain't got nothing to build with us, bro. You ain't got no part in serving your how about Shami Shah. Revelation 11, it says, measure the temple and those that worship in it. Those that are without, measure it not. Yeah, you niggas is not a part of this, man. Proverbs 28 and 5 says, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai understand, understand all, all things. things. That's it, man. His ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. That's why guys all oh, see these caps is the problem and, and this and that. And that, and that. It says, Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness. Than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich, whoso keepeth the law is a wise son, but he that a, that is a companion of riotous men shameth his father. He that by usury and an uh, and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it. He shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. <laughs> a lot of Esau. Yeah. You know everything that you lay before, man. According to your substance, shall be the rest. Of, uh, shall the restitution be? So everything that you got is going to be translated unto the children of Israel. Start with the elect. And what they're trying to get the whole world. Hey, so that whole world is going to be given unto us. Here it is. You trying to to you trying to hey, control the whole world. You know what I'm saying? All that's given unto us. This world was was given unto us in the first place. But here it is. You trying to trying to take it, take over, man. Proverbs twenty eight and nine it says, "He that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be the shall be abomination." That's it. Simple man. You turn your uh you turn your ear from hearing these scriptures, man. Your prayer is abomination, man. Especially if you calling upon the name of Jesus and Christ and. And, and them false names, man, your prayer is abomination. The Lord ain't hearing that, man. The Lord hates that. It says in the Sirach 15 and 13, he said he hates all abomination, man. So if you're not praying praying in the uh, or in the right spirit, man, your prayer is something that's despised in the eyes of the Most High, man. You're, 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 you even trying to talk to the Lord is hateful, man. He, he's despising it, man. You know, that was it. Anybody got anything else? Hey, so with that, man, Lord willing, we hope this was edifying. We give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel of truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Now. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you brothers. Shalom. 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 Shalom.